The holy water is overseen by Mother Curie the Third, our luminescent mother, and she's far too busy to speak with outsiders. I'm afraid it is not open to the unenlightened. Your presence would contaminate our great works. However, if you are willing to be baptized in Adam's holy light, then perhaps I could allow you to enter and meet our leader. Must it really come to this? So be I'm just gonna kill him. That was uh, too easy. Oh, this guy has tons of holy water. Holy water pamphlet, the monastery key, power fist, stim packs, and grenades. Take the grenades, why not? So there's this was I never done it this way, but oh well. I wasn't gonna go get uh radiation or ra irradiated or from you know just because of this asshole. For too long our world has been Oh my! I wasn't expecting a pilgrim to our shrine. We are hardly prepared for visitors, I'm afraid. And you didn't come here with peaceful intentions, did you? Oh, oh poor Brother Gerard. He was rather too strident, but he deserved better than that. But that's no excuse for rudeness now, is it? I'm Mother Curie the Third, and I lead the Apostles of the Eternal Light. Why have you come to us? Yes. If you wanted some, I'm sure that Brother Gerard would have gladly given you a bottle or two. We don't charge for charity, you know. It was a gift from Adam. I was meditating right here in Springvale when four of his armored angels came to me. When I said I was from Megaton, they gave me barrels of aqua pura. <laughs> I, I should share it with my people. They were very clear on that. Naturally, I understood Adam's message, and so I've been busy blessing this holy water and sharing it with the world. All right. Uh, before we get into this, I kind of want to explain that situation right there. Pretty much, what was happening was the four armored people. I don't know if they were just uh, caravan armored up people, or if they were a brotherhood of steel armored people. But she thought they were angels from um, some god that they worship on this game called like the adam god or something i don't know exactly what the story behind that is but it's pretty funny when she was talking about that and she said that those four four armored angels from adam came to see her when it was actually probably the brotherhood of steel delivering the water because she thought they were from megaton <laughs> so uh just in case no one caught on to that i thought i would explain it so let's go ahead and continue don't be silly how else will we spread the word to the unenlightened so many misunderstand Adam and fear the glow of his light as a thing of destruction rather than humanity's next step toward perfection. With this marvelous holy water, they drink without fear, and by the time the glow consumes them, they have no need to fear ever again. Hmm. You have a point. One cannot be forced into salvation against one's will, to do so would be unjust, even in Adam's name. Perhaps you're right. We must not use deception to spread the word of Adam's light. To do so would be to make a mockery of salvation itself. We will stop using the aqua pura for our holy water. We will save our ministrations for those who seek us out. Why, to offer enlightenment to all those who suffer, of course. No more, no less. Adam came to me with a vision. The starving, the ill, the weak, all being made whole and well by receiving the sacrament of Adam's glow. And so, with our holy water, we can make this vision a reality. When exposed to Adam's supreme glow, the ill are reborn in his glowing visage. Those reborn never hunger, never suffer, and never age. All our enlightened brethren need to know is Adam's glow, and they are happy. That's correct, it does. But we can work miracles with our holy water. Free of impurities, this aqua pura is perfect for carrying Adam's blessing. Sadly, only a small number of supplicants truly achieve eternal light. 
The rest must be satisfied with enlightenment and an end to their suffering. Thank you for choosing wisdom over violence. All right, so I think that uh, is it. What else do we uh, have to do for uh, this lady? Do we just gotta go back to Megaton or something? Port back to Beasley. So let's go ahead and uh, protecting the waterway. Uh, nope, that's not what I want to do. The amazing Aqua Cura. Yeah, it's not Pura, it's Cura. So that's where we're gonna travel now. We're gonna go into the underworld and probably watch the beginning of the. I think they're gonna do a little cutscene, and then we'll watch the beginning of that. And then I'll probably have to end it because we are we only have like four minutes left or so. Oh, what the hell is that right there? The hell? I'm just gonna run away from that because I do not know what is going on. Do people sit in there? Is that? Oh my god, that's how they get baptized. That's what you had to do to get baptized. That would be my guess. Oh my god, you actually would have to sit in there. And he would turn that on for you to get radiated. <laughs> wow. I, I never done that. I was just like, F that, dude. I'm just going to kill you. I'm not going to play through your stupid games. Either let me in or I'm going to shoot you, you know? Oh, look at this. The Amazing Aqua Kira. The Amazing Aqua Kira. I wonder where the Amazing Aqua Kira is. <laughs> All right, I hear myself walking, but I don't see anything. There we go. Museum of Technology. The amazing Aquakira. The amazing Aquakira. It's right over there. Where is it at? It's right here. Wash profusely with Aquakira, morning and evening. Or better yet, buy a ten-gallon barrel and take a bath in it. And you will see your skin return to its natural, smooth state. It's guaranteed. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Having trouble seeing? Got a little something in your eye? Rinse it out with the amazing Aquacura, and you'll instantly see why it's the only product you'll ever need again. It's unbelievable. Right, I'm going to talk right to up. this guy. Step right up. Well, hello there, smooth skin. Step right up. Have you come to savor the great taste of the amazing Aqua Cura? Why? Have you heard otherwise? I changed the name to help ghouls realize its amazing properties. And well, just between us. Oh, whoopsies. I dropped my controller accidentally. <laughs> my bad, guys. I've also added a few secret ingredients to enhance the flavor of the original. So it's not exactly the same, it's better. Can't uh, procure a bottle? A free sample, you say? Hmm, well, I normally don't do this. But for you, for this one time only, a very special VIP promotional offer. Ladies and gentlemen, ding, ding, ding. We have a new winner in our daily Aquacura sweepstakes. Here you go, sir, your free bottle. Step right up in the next five minutes and get your very own bottle of the amazing Aqua Cura at half price. Ladies and gentlemen, half price. All right, am I supposed to drink that or something? I don't know. Let's go see the difference between the regular water. Aqua. Where is that at? Holy water. Aqua Cura. Oh, only one rad. Look in the other way. Seems like a regular purified water, honestly. I hope there's nothing wrong with your aqua cura. Remember, all sales are final. Um, now, how can I help you, dear returning customer of mine? Really? What's it matter to you anyway? All right, but keep your mouth shut about it. The Brotherhood's happy just giving the stuff away, right? Well, they drove me out claiming ghouls don't need fresh water. Well, big surprise that when I offered to pay for it, next thing I knew, I was talking to Scribe Bigsley, the guy in charge of the whole shebang. Didn't really want to, but on principle, I wanted to prove that ghouls are worth the cost, so I paid him. Now I'm stuck selling this stuff. Good thing whatever they put in it to kill the radiation also undoes the radiation damage to ghoul physiology. Thus, Aquapura becomes Aquacura.
Come back before supplies run out. Alright, so I'm going to end it here, and when we come back, we'll finish this uh, side quest and then start on the main quest. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one.